Hello and welcome back to the Surfer new feature video series by Golden Software. Today I will be covering how to create an ISO pack or ISO core map in Surfer versions 22 and above. ISO pack maps are often used in geology to illustrate thickness variations between two layers, such as the top and bottom of a coal seam or stratigraphic layer. If you have data saved as a grid that defines the elevation of an upper and lower surface, you can use Surfer to create an ISO pack or ISO core map. To create an isopack or isocore map in Surfer, we first need two grid files that define the elevation of our upper and lower surfaces. Once we have those on hand, we can click the Grids, Calculate, Isopack command, and then in the Grid Isopack dialog, we can click Browse, or use the drop-down menu next to Upper Surface to select the grid file for the upper surface. Next, do the same for your lower surface and select the corresponding grid file for the lower surface. Based on the type of final map desired, then click IsoPack or IsoCore for the calculation type. An IsoPack map measures true stratigraphic thickness, while an IsoCore map measures true vertical thickness. If your area of interest is horizontal, vertical thickness and stratigraphic thickness are the same. But if the area of interest has a dip or incline, the vertical thickness is different from the stratigraphic thickness. Finally, set the name of your output grid and click OK to add the grid as a new contour map layer. And that is how you create an ISO pack or ISO core map in Surfer 22 and above. This workflow can be incredibly useful for geologists or anyone interested in mineral exploration. This video will wrap up our Surfer 22 new feature video series. Follow the link in the description to view the entire video series and download the free trial of Surfer. Please contact Surfer support at goldensoftware.com with any further questions.